If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, um, I kind of really like the idea behind Miss Magius and the Dust Stone and um, being able to have some sort of control on what your opponent will be able to do during their turn attacking their hand and getting some control that way. So. I did read an article on six prizes by Scott Screech, I believe, um, who was playing a similar deck but with Bozzle and Formosa, and I feel like Bozzle and Formosa wasn't really the best Pokemon to play this with. You do get a little bit of extra firepower, of course, with the first attack, but over the course of two turns, um, because there's no switching guards or anything, uh, Bozzle and Formosa's attack is actually pretty weak. So I decided to incorporate this engine to the Zerkitry GX deck or to Zuriki 3 GX because it is an ultra so you can fully power up with um, B strings, which is pretty awesome. But you also get the ability Flashing Head, where um, you prevent any damage done to your Pokemon by special energy. So that's not the main reason that ability is actually pretty useless in standard, but Rumbling Wires does 100 damage and you discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So instead of playing the Chip Chip Isaac in order to put. Um, to put a bad card on top so that they top like that, you can actually put a good card on top and have the, your attack discard that. So basically, you get rid of an out and then they need a back-to-back -back out as their next card in order to try and recover from that. And we also get the Lighting GX attack where your opponent reveals their hand and you add a card you find there to their prize cards face down. So if you're going second and you get some sort of luck between the Jesse and James, the Mars and the Lieutenant Surge, locking down their hand a little bit, you can use your GX attack to further take away resources from their hand. Um, and potentially like Jesse and James allows them to choose the cards they discard. So whatever they choose to discard, they choose to keep rather, that's the important card that you put back into the price card. So I don't know, I feel like there's, um, it's definitely been fun playing with this deck. It's not the most competitive, unfortunately, but it's definitely fun. And there might be a better attacker that I'm missing that would actually be better at um, dealing with all of this. Um, we do rely on Miss Mary Miss Mysterious Message though, um, in order to knock it out, get draw power, and that's why we have the 4-4 four -four line with the 4 dust stones. We do need to use two Miss Magius in order to activate the B-strings so we can power up and start applying pressure with damage, otherwise we are in a very precarious situation. I have thought about playing Electro Powers in this. In order to amplify the damage that circuitry gx does but fortunately i don't think there's a space really uh, but yeah we're playing lieutenant search because we're mostly going to be behind in prizes i'm also playing jesse and james to attack their hand along with marsh to get us a little bit of extra resources but also to keep attacking their hand so i think the deck is best demonstrated in um in a game so we'll see if I can pull this off against unsuspecting opponents. Um, but like the Jesse and James Lieutenant Surge lock with his Magius is already pretty strong um, sometimes. And then if you go second, you also get the GX attack. But honestly, like you do get hands like this one where uh, <laughs> there's not much I'll be able to do here. It might just be a quick um, concession from my part. Uh, I do have power plant, so I can attack the Keldo. Not a big deal here. Um, there could be the fine type Quag, which is also annoying to deal with, especially because we can never one hit it, and it can one hit KO us. Basically, the only card that can help me top deck right here would be a Mars. 
right? Mars would be the only card that helps me top deck, and then I would need to draw exactly Mischievous plus a Dust Stone. That's the only way I can potentially get into this game at the moment. So, not the best thing, of course. Not the best thing for the deck. Pretty decent start for my opponent. All I get is an energy. So, might as well Lightning GX and nothing too impactful. I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. I definitely won't be winning this game. I can't stop my opponent from drawing cards. My hand is terrible. Let's try to find a better spot to pull this off. Now, like I said, this is probably not a deck you want to bring to um, to a tournament. This is a deck maybe you want to play around with your friends, have be annoying, um, have them like figure out how to get out of the lock or try to pull off the lock yourself. Uh, when you do pull it, it's pretty. When you do pull it off, it's pretty cool. But the, yesterday's video with Garchomp Giratina and that engine definitely made me. Um, think about this potential deck. Um, obviously Ace Trainer is a fantastic card and there's Ultra Balls and Nest Balls and there's just so many more resources that you can use in Expanded in order to pull off the lock. Um, so yeah, there's definitely um, a lot of different ideas. Like, I don't know, I tried that out and I really like the concept of being able to just deny a lot of your opponent's resources that way. So we'll see if it ends up coming into anything more substantial, but the only way to do it is through playtime, right? Um, as you can see, this hand, once again, not the greatest. Definitely not the greatest. My opponent also gets a bunch of mulligans, and he's going first, and he starts Jirachi. Jirachi is another card that um, immediately counteracts this deck, so... I don't know. These sort of situations where I wish I could just, like, I mean, I hope I get to showcase one video of the whole strategy, but maybe someone who's more creative than I am can come up with a concept that will allow them to, to do better with this. I don't know, to exploit this engine. Of course, there's a potential to just play Bustle Formosa, but no matter what I was playing, I'd be in a very bad spot right now. And I felt like Circuitry's GX's GX attack was like perfect to go with this um, combination of of power and pressure. Now it would be pretty funny if my opponent ends up attaching the recycle energy and he can't damage my circuitry at some point to the Giratina if he's even playing that. But we shall have to see. There's the Viridian Forest. Nothing too impactful here. Nothing too impactful. We do have the Mars, that's useful potentially. Builds for Dust Island. Huh. That's a weird. That's a weird card. Okay, and then we see a pass. So we do top deck a lightning. Not gonna be too too useful. Um, I am able to find a circuitry Dust Island and. Buff padding. This might mean I'm up against. This might mean I am up against. Um, Alola and Mog and Mog with Malmar. I guess we faltered a bit on the ladder. <laughs> Not the biggest appeal though. Once again, the slow start. Like you really need Mistress and um, a good like consistent cycle of the Dust Stones and the Mismagias to really get going. To 
really get your groove on, which is definitely easier in expanded than it is in standard. So there's the Dust Island. I also thought about playing Keldio in the, I mean not Keldio, sorry, the Den AGX to have like a better flow of energy and everything, but... You see the Pokecom, there's a Dene. So I guess because my opponent's deck is not the most competitive, there's a Mock <laughs> Mock, uh, we should be able to like, at least try and lock him down a little bit. But if you're poison, it's definitely gonna be annoying, that's for sure. And especially with 3 hit KO the Mock and Alola Mock, so... That's very dangerous. Excuse me. And Nasty Goo Mix GX. I am very surprised by that. Very surprised by that. Uh, we just have to go for another Mars here. No Miss Magius. No Miss Magius whatsoever. We're just gonna pass. This guy is definitely not even very threatening, but now we're out of draw cards. <laughs> so yeah, not the best showcase for the deck for sure. I went just passes. Wow. All right. I mean, is there any point to attacking his hand when we've seen that he really doesn't have anything? He's not doing anything. He's not even attaching energy. He's just draw passing. So, do all of the Titans here. Still nothing. So now we get to start attacking though. So let's rumbling wires for a hundred. My opponent literally cannot do anything. And I discarded the dead AGX, <laughs> that's pretty good. I guess I should have played the power plant to stop the dead DNA. My opponent decides to heal. Um, so now we're four hit KO in. Goes for the cost and catcher for two. Wow, all the custom catcher is getting played right here. Finally gets to attach though, which is worrisome. Has a build analysis. Great Potion and Koga Strap. <laughs> Alright. Another Mug. Psychic Recharges onto the Mug. Double Psychic Recharges too. So that's annoying. We know he has Great Potion. He probably doesn't have much health though. I mean, we're still in a lot of trouble, that's for sure. Duel of the Bad Decks. Duel of the bad decks. Okay, finally I get a Miss Magius. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna bench this guy and then I'm gonna try and get him to zero cards in his hand. Yes, you can have a prize opponent. Well, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, not with this hand. There's no point in playing the Lieutenant Search, right? There's no point in playing the Lieutenant Surge. We'll get to choose two cards to discard, which were the Pokegum and the Great Potion. So I might have just given my opponent something good. Which is never a good thing, right? Never a good thing. Bench the Miss Trevus. And 
I will go ahead and I mean I could light a GX. I feel like I just need to be a little more aggressive with my hand. Discard the energy, that's pretty nice. Against this guy. Not against this guy, but against this guy. Buff padding. <laughs> so back to 4 hit KO. Koga Strap. Super, super annoying. If I could have discarded that, that would have been fantastic. I'm gonna have to flip. Now I am going to have to flip. Alright. I the duel of the bad decks. I feel like my opponent now has the upper hand though. Well, he's down to 10 cards, so maybe I can deck him out. I'm gonna try on Rumbling Wires. I do get heads, and I'm discarding another energy that's great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 energy so far. My opponent has 8 cards left. How on earth did that happen? Okay, he passes. Let's just keep attacking. Another head flip, awesome. My bird would actually benefit from his Alolan mock being KO'd right now. He would actually benefit from that. Just passes. I feel like I'm gonna pass here. Ooh. Do I give my opponent a prize card? Yeah. Let's go for it. So I didn't get to use a single dust stone. Instead, I have to manually evolve my people. But, oh well. I'm gonna play the Lieutenant Surge before, so I draw an extra card. And then I kinda wanna have my opponent draw cards with a reset stamp. <laughs> or I would have liked to. And then to like get some supporters, some sort of supporters. and discard his hand. However, that's just not gonna happen. That is just not going to happen. So now my plan, my game plan is to beat my opponent through decking him out, right? That is the game plan here. So I'm gonna rumbling wires. I feel like I have a bunch of energy prized as well. Discard an NK, not the biggest of deals. Four cards left. I definitely don't think there will be a way in which I can KO this person. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. So 2 energies. I think there's one left in the deck, so I do have another one priced. Okay, so Mysterious Treasure, even better. I might actually toss stone yet again. Like, why? I mean, <laughs> what a weird game. What a weird game, but a win is a win, right? A win is a win. My opponent is just purposely decking himself out, it seems. Decides so to retreat, I have one card left in deck. So if I manage to discard cards and then reset stamp, then I am Gucci here. Or if I can just get an attack off, so I can just retreat, attack, and then that's the game. And then that is the game. He only does 120 damage. He doesn't have any damage on him. He doesn't get to heal. I, however, get to do this. Okay, so... Oh no, I can't even do that. I'm just gonna retreat and attack. So GG to my one. I can't believe we won here. I mean, the discard definitely helped, right? If we weren't discarding cards off the top, then we would not have won. But this is definitely not the way I want the deck to work out. So let's try again. Let us, let us try again. Let us try again. All right. We're going second. <laughs> we are indeed going second yet again. So it's third game in a row. And we have a very crappy hand for the third game in a row. Because why not, right? Why not?
I mean, I have zero draw supporters, so this is not expected. But I do have four copies of this guy, this guy, this guy. I have 11 of these, so I could just be finding some dust stones instead. Or some mysterious treasures, perhaps. <laughs> oh well. I don't know, I think there's merit to this. There, like, there has to be a way to exploit this right now. And if not in standard, then definitely in expanded. So Umbrian and Darkrai GX. Dark Fox. Power plant could be useful in locking down my opponent's deck. I do run four, so hopefully that will be helpful. The issue is I do three hit KO this guy once again, so that's the biggest issue right here. That's the biggest issue right here. Use a Cherish Ball, Pat them first, a Power Plant would have put a big stop on my opponent's plants. Ooh, a Weavile. Oh wow, alright. Catches return and will Pokecom a Weavile? No, a Nag. So we know my opponent has Weavile in his hand right now. And there is a Dark Energy in the Discard Ball. So we might just lose next turn. Unless, if my Mars hits the Weavile, that would be absolutely fantastic. That would actually be absolutely fantastic. Well, I guess I won't be losing, right? I do it a super scoop up, not the best card to be hitting. I also priced two Miss Mages. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hmm. I feel like these are going to be necessary for me to try and win. So I'll go ahead and do this, and then we go ahead and mysterious message into nothing. I'm just not gonna bother. Let's find a better game. I might, you might see like me talking quickly. I probably will end up like fast forwarding until I can get a decent soft lock going at some point. Alright. You won the coin flip. Can we get a playable hand though? Alright. No. Still not good. Wrong dude. Wrong card also. Well, we get some mulligans, that's good, right? We get some mulligans and that's good. One mulligan. So one mulligan and top deck, we're looking for a mischievous. That's all we're looking for. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So then we need to thin this person. And then I will go bench, play that, play that, and then go dust zone. My other two Miss Mages are prized once again. How do you prize two Miss Mages back to back games? Okay, as long as I find a mischievous here. <laughs> what? Unearth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Zergy Tree. Okay, I have to welder into Vulpix. There's the Reshi. Goes for a Nacrum. Ooh, this card's a welder. Actually, this card's a welder. And then this card's a Dedene. Oh my gosh. Well, that gives me a little bit of hope. And decides to switch. All right. Well, there's a Dedene. Okay. Turtonator and then a pass. <laughs> uh, lighting GX. Let's put the nine tails in the price card. I definitely don't think we're winning this one though. <laughs> definitely don't think we're winning this one. So 
All right, let's keep trying. I mean, what can I do though? Perhaps play a couple of the then if then I can't play power plant, I have to play something else. I don't know, maybe this just completely sucks, right? Maybe this deck just completely sucks and I should completely drop the concept, but maybe in standard. In expanded, I do think it's worth exploring. So we're gonna mulligan. This once again would have been a terrible hand. The issue with the deck is that you need two cards, right? You need the Mischievous and the Dust Stone. That's the big deal. That is a big deal. Maybe we need to play something like Bill's Analysis to, to look, dig deeper for the Dust Stones, the Mysterious Treasures. Can't catch a break. Now I get the Dust Stones, but I don't get the Pokemon. <laughs> Now I get the Dust Stones, but I do not get the Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. The problem would be looking at my hand from the Mulligan, like, what the heck is this? Right? What the heck is this? <sighs> I know, opponent, I know. Alright, so that was a good top deck. That was a good top deck because I get to do this. All right, so now we're getting somewhere. And we didn't try to do mysterious mismakers. We priced one P string, that's not the end of the world. Price one reset stamp, that could be impactful. All right, so I'm gonna attach and then I'll power plant and then I get to mysterious message. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> I already have a surge and I draw two more surges. And a pokey gum instead of a treasure. I don't like I give up. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Well, that's good. And wow. <laughs> Everyone had no reason to do that. I feel. But hey, we'll take it. Okay, can I please just pull it off once? That's all I want. I just want to pull it off once. Just to one time. Probably end up cutting the rest of the fluff of the video because it's just pretty bad. It's just pretty bad. Okay, now we've gone first in back to back to back games. There's nothing I can top deck that helps me in this situation. Absolutely nothing. Lives, okay. Oh boy. More shadow, this is Mewtwo for sure. I'm like, not with this hand. Okay, so. I feel like I should just give up on this. I have four mysterious treasure as well. Yeah, I was like, did I um, did I even play mysterious treasure? Okay. Let's stop with the lieutenant search. It's that bills. But like generally, I just I can't pull this off at all. So. I need the fourth of this. I'm sure I'll have another one. All right, so that's a new list. Let's see if the bills actually help in pulling it off just the once, just the one time. Bills should be pretty good, right? Bills should be pretty good. Can't play greens because circuitry has an ability. 
Cannot play greens because circuitry does have an ability. So we'll give it one more try. And if it's if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Wow, back to back to back to back going first games. Mulligan, all right. Alright. Okay. I mean, I can work with this. Right? I can definitely at least work with this. Please work with this. <laughs> so that guy is super annoying, right? Because confusion is something very difficult to go through for this deck, of course. All right. We can still hopefully manage though. I feel like I'm gonna discard the marks for now and just establish a mischievous because that's what I'm going to promote so I don't get my circuitry confused immediately. Now let's go mysterious message. All right, so we get an energy, got another circuitry. We have the reset stamp. We'll promote this person. And then we will go build analysis <laughs> for these two guys. We'll bench, we will attach, and we will reset stamp. So my bonus starts with minus one price, but also minus one. Same. And then we need the bills to give us B string plus Miss Magius, or at the very least a Miss Magius. So a Dust Stone or a Mysterious Treasure. Either of those definitely helps. My opponent's turn is start off with the bills. So kind of an underwhelming supporter, and unless he has a stadium as well to go with that, he can't just grab Church Ball and the Dene for a brand new hand. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh. Or you can just get the perfect two cards of the builds. That also works, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm this close to just giving up on this deck. Like you'll, you'll see me delete the deck live on Twitch. You will see me delete the deck live on Twitch. Wow, my opponent chose not to cherish ball. I am very surprised by that. All right. So I have to go ahead. Oh, I should have used that to get a circuitry out before. Oops. Oopsie daisies. I should have done that. It's all right though. Let's build for reset stamp and treasure. And then I feel like I can definitely get rid of an energy here. I don't think that's a big deal. I'm getting the first attack off against this guy is pretty good. That's for sure. That is for sure. So I'll do this. And then I want to save the resist stamp until after a mysterious treasure or mysterious message, sorry. Oh, we played that supporter. Didn't get anything out of this. So I'm going to have to battle through confusion. <laughs> I am going to have to battle through confusion right here. I wish there was a better way to deal with that, but alas, there is not. So I'm just gonna rumbling wires. I need to apply some pressure. Discard the fire. Down to three cards with a power plant. Four cards, I guess, with a power plant in play. Unless I top deck B string, I'm gonna be in trouble. 
Um, I mean, I hope I wouldn't attack me, right, with my blow, but that's not going to happen. Does he have double mag attach KO? There's one. Is he charging up? Ah, I need a B string top deck. We see a Heatran. And we see an energy on the Heatran. Alright. So zero cards in hand for my opponent. So we've accomplished our luck. Right? That's not a card I want. So yes. Perfect. That was pretty lucky, not gonna lie. We discard another fire, which is impactful. So what does my opponent top deck here? What does my opponent top deck right here? We're basically doing slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> and we're no longer burnt, that's good. Everyone promotes a heat trend to tank if he hits. Oh. oh my gosh, why? Well, I mean, at least the Heatran is just stuck up there, right? Yep. <sighs> nice top deck opponent. I mean, I don't know, it's just he has so many Pokemon he has. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? So you already have the Dedene? You're kidding. <laughs> He could have top decked a nag. He could have top decked an energy. He could have top decked a poipol. He could. Ah. I don't know. It's just annoying. Well, I tried, right? This is what happens with this deck. And then. If, if, big if, right? You get to the point where you lock them down, then they are definitely able to. They are definitely able to top deck out of situations like that one. My opponent had a zero card hand. My opponent actually had a zero, zero card hand. And look at his board now. He had a Nag, a Poipo, and a Heatran. It's all the top decks. It's all about the top decks, isn't it? Oh, and he hadn't even attached energy. That's just brutal. Yeah, you got it, opponent. I mean, there's no way. There's no way I'm winning that game at that point. This deck relies on locking out your opponent out of the game and being able to to pull that off consistently-ish enough. Uh, the build definitely made a big difference right here. So something worth considering. Um, I know not the most exciting video, but I mean, I'm trying a new concept. Um, maybe I'll try and refine it a little bit more. I won't delete the deck after this game because the bills showed a little bit of um, of potential right there, so I'll see I'll see what else I can I can come up with. Uh, but yeah, that will be all for today, guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't enjoy. That's okay too. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.